Another crystal. Just give the word. Huh. What now? Got most of it. Well, a stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. Why are we going up when what we need is all the way down there? Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. I just leave smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to. Oh, I get it. Good. How are we going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tube? Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck. You are welcome to suggest a different one. What now? Hold tight. Seems ill advised. Jump! That didn't work. It only fell a little ways. There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? We cannot. Here, boy. What does it say? When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song mother used. I know that one. Winter that Quiet. Doesn't like music either. Got it. Boy. Atreus, that word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thola. Horizon! The energy's lifting the platform! Keep writing. Thola. 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 Head. How is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well, turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them. Always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. 
did well. Thanks. The boy. Just having a little fun, you big grump. Well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. Credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind. Those are the guys we saw with Balder. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. The sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods. And Thor was the worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? They'll never even see him. What's this? Down right here. Oh, smells awful. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny, I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really livened up the place. There. Ah, yes. You just can't help but break things, can you? The Jarl's throne was just on the other side of that wall of ice.
Something ahead. See, Lodge? He's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. Poor Fafnir. There's a fine line between ambition and greed, you know. To work we go. You don't need to make excuses to say hello. Those men, what do you know of them? First, they're not men, they're gods. Well, demigods. Anyway, let's see. Thor's their dad, different moms, sordid story that one, Baldur's their uncle, Odin, dear old grandpa, oh, and a sister named... Weapons. How do they fight? Oh, of course. Magni's strong. Really strong. Carries a huge sword hardened by cyclonic thunder. And Modi? Ugh. I'd sooner lick a rat than shake that dung heap's hand. His mason shields are just a cheap knockoff of my elegant work on their dad's hammer. Best to follow my lead and avoid, but <laughs> who am I talking to? Hey, Sindri, have you met Mimir? Uh, if you mean the severed head that keeps blinking at me, please keep it away. There is no possible way that's hygienic. Oh, that's nice. Lovely to see you too, Sindri. Nob. Why? Is that a piece of my braided mistletoe arrow adorning your quiver strap? Oh, a little memento of your good pal, Sindri. I'm so terribly touched. Well, scrounge around a bit more and we'll build something then. Would you focus on your death? You quit that shit. I mean it. I walked away. Maybe. Uncle hasn't seen straight in years. But as long as father believes him, so do we. So you will stop talking, focus, and help me find them. Who can't disappoint father? Oh, smoky boy. No, we cannot disappoint father. Now keep looking. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh-oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother! The little freak's got a bow! What are we gonna do? <laughs> Don't tell me what to do! I can't remember the last time I had a challenge. <laughs> 
Stay behind me, boy. Why do you hunt us? What does Odin want? Don't know. Don't care. Come here, Harry. You done know Daddy's hand. Shut up! Don't call me that! Oh. Can't believe you blasted this Skinny dogs can barely defend. I said shut up! Calm yourself, boy. Looks like they need another lesson. Nothing to teach, mother. <laughs> Blood. The boy's sick. He needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be all right. There you go, lad. I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. Do. 
With that, we can carve the travel rune to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. He did. He was a god, but you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps, but I. And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? 